So, I've gotten some emails, and I'm starting to see a comment or two come up about how I put the tabs in my video. So I thought I would sit down and make this video real quick to try to explain that. I don't know if I'm the right person to answer it or not, because I only recently started doing it myself, and I'm absolutely certain there's probably a better way, but I'm going to try and show you how I do it. And uh, it does work. It may not be the most professional way, but anyway, I'm using a program called Guitar Pro 6 for tab. Uh, you could use the Tux program, the free program. I'm not really familiar with it, but I'm pretty sure it works uh, similarly. I don't really use tab myself. I don't go on the internet looking for tabs for the songs that I do, and I don't normally tab them myself. I generally just do them by ear, memorize it, and play it. <clears throat> but for this, once I started adding tabs to my video, then I had to actually create tabs. So I use Guitar Pro 6, like I said, and this is a tab I did for the last video I made of uh, Gotta Be Somebody for Nickelback. Of course, when I wrote the name up here, I put Gots Be Somebody. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so I don't tab this out like if you were uh, going to use this tab to play the song which maybe that doesn't make any sense, but I'm saying I'm tabbing this specifically to make it for my video. I'm not tabbing this because I'm going to print it out and follow it or, or save it and give it to you to follow. I'm doing it so that it works for the video that I'm going to make. So once I've got my tab made, then it comes down to saving it or, or exporting. You save it and then export it. And that's where the key is. Uh, Guitar Pro allows you to save as a GP5, MIDI, ASCII, etc. The one we want is the ping file because that's a picture file. So I don't know if Tux allows that or not. I hope it does. But uh, save it as a picture file. That's how we're going to get it into our video. So once you've saved your file or uh, your tab as a picture, in my case, I use Photoshop. You could use another graphics program, but Photoshop's what I have. And when I open it, of course, it's not big enough for me to see, so I need to zoom it in. Okay, once I've got this up here where I can see it good, I want to take this first piece and just select it like this. Get it kind of how I want it. And I'm going to do copy. You can do control C or just do it the way I did. Now, a little tip here, if you're not familiar with Photoshop, and I don't know if other programs do this or not, but once you select something and copy it like that, if you come up here and hit File and New, whatever the selection that you just made was, it makes the new file that size. So it's extremely easy to do. So you just click OK, and you've got a new file, or a new picture file, exactly the size that you need. And then you're just going to paste what you did in there. Now in Photoshop, it put it in here as a new layer, so you'll have to flatten the image so that you can save it as a picture file. And if you want it with a white background and, and black for the, for the tab itself, you're done. You just save it as a picture, and that's it. I don't use it that way. I like to go one more step and invert it. I just think that looks better. I like the way it looks on my video better when it looks this way. Uh, let me zoom it in a little bit. So that's what it's going to look like in the video, give or take. Now, if you really wanted to get precise here, you could make every one of these exactly the same size by just coming back up here and uh, going to image size and make them exactly the same. I don't do that because I'm lazy <laughs> and I freehand everything, I guess. But once you've got all your sections of your tab done, then you go to whatever video editing program you're using. In my case, I'm using uh, Wondershare Filmora. I've got all the, the editing done of the video, meaning I could export this now and have a, a cover video, but I'm going to add the tab to it. Pay no attention to my white knees. <laughs> you don't see those. Uh, so I've imported all of my saved picture files for my tab. I've got my timeline set up to where I know where the verse the first part of the verse comes in and so I'm going to take that piece of tab that I've created and drag it to my timeline 
and it's going to show up like this. Now, important to note, if you was to drag this down here on a new track somewhere below this, you won't see this at all. It has to be on the uppermost uh, track of your video editing software. I'm pretty sure that's universal. So anyway, we've got this tab drug in here, and this is what it looks like. You could, in Filmora, double-click on it and go in here and make adjustments to it if you wanted to, but I like it just the way it is. And in order to get it to what it looks like in the finished product, I just drag it down, get it where I want it here. I don't want this bar to show, so I'm going to drag that off the screen a little bit, off of what's going to be visible. Stretch it out a little bit here so that it fits right. And then cover up my bare, my bare knee. <laughs> I'm just going to make this the size that looks appropriate for you to be able to see it when the video plays. And, you know, so once you've got that done, then you just uh, uh, drag it out to wherever, however long that it needs to be. And then bring in the next piece and do the same thing. Now, I've got uh, these tracks locked, and I've got the audio muted because I don't want to get a copyright strike for it. But then when you play it, it looks like that. It looks how you see it in the finished video. Now, like on this song, you got verse part A, part B, part C. Once you've drug it into the timeline and made those adjustments, the next time that it comes in down here, you can come back and copy all three of those and just paste them down here, and they'll already be the right size, and they'll fit perfectly with the song. But anyway, that's the way I do it. It's kind of a long, drawn-out, tedious process, but that's how I do it. I mean, there's probably a better way. I'm sure there is, but that's how I do it. Uh, I would definitely be open to somebody suggesting a better way, but uh, I hope that helps the people that were asking about it, and uh, we'll talk to you later.